So today we visit the fascinating theory of Batesian mimicry. Simply put, this is where a harmless organism looks like a dangerous one to avoid predation. If you've ever grabbed a bumblebee and been stung, chances are you'd run from a look-alike robber fly without a stinger. The mimic fools you and stays safe. Many other examples are found among bees and wasps. A honeybee can deliver a painful sting to defend itself. But surfed flower flies without stingers get a free pass from most bird and invertebrate predators. Stinging wasps are even worse. Various flies and beetles imitate their colors and patterns to preserve safety. Velvet ants, which are really wingless female wasps, are rated among the most painful of all the world's stingers. Some harmless spiders and other insects mimic their bright colors to warn away enemies. Monarch butterflies are harmless and beautiful. But they feed on milkweeds to develop charging their bodies with toxic plant host chemicals called cardinolides. This makes birds and predators sick, so monarchs are universally avoided by hunters that might eat them. Viceroy butterflies are a dead ringer for monarchs. So though they would make safe and tasty meals, they're also bypassed by fooled hunters. Rattlesnakes like Massasaugas are dangerous opponents to nearly all living things. But look alike harmless hognose or bull snakes are often avoided on sight. Unless you know different. According to false science, Batesian mimicry is an evolutionary process that took eons of random chance to accomplish. What is never asked or answered is, how did a mimic species decide to gradually change to look like another, more dangerous species for eventual protection? For instance, who told the viceroy butterfly that a monarch ate stuff that could make you sick, and then spend a million years shape or pattern changing to imitate the model? Order throughout the natural world can be explained only through the design of Creator God. And that's why I always start in Genesis. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.